Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. This is a 60 minute vinyasa flow class and I'm just going to call it a fun flow because there's no real theme or focus here. We're just going to work breath to movement and we'll start seated with a short spinal warm up. So come to a comfortable seat, whatever that looks like for you today. If your hips are tight, you can sit on a block or you can sit on your heels or your shins. Um, Find a tall spine, reach up through the crown of the head, and then close your eyes. We're gonna take five breaths here. You can rest your hands face down or face up on your knees, or you can rest them in your lap. Breathe in through your nose. Let's start with a cleansing breath. Hold it at the top. Let it go through your mouth. Close your lips. Start to breathe in and out through your nose. Find a gentle constriction to the back of your throat, welcoming your ujjayi breathing. <clears throat> for about three more breaths here. Continue to maintain your steady inhales and exhales as we begin to warm up. So open your eyes, take your right hand down towards your mat, tent your fingertips and take your left hand up to the crown of your head and just gently draw your left ear to your left shoulder. Release and switch sides. So bring your left hand down to the mat, tent your fingers, take your right hand to the top of your head and gently draw your right ear toward your right shoulder. Release. And then bring both hands to the mat slightly back behind your hips. And go ahead and just lift your chest and lift your chin. You can gently drop your head all the way back if that feels okay in your neck. Stretching through your throat, come all the way back up and then just very subtly jut your chin slightly forward and release it down toward your chest. You feel a nice stretch in the back of your neck. If you want to take a couple of rocks side to side here, feels really good. Make your way all the way back up to a neutral spine. We're gonna take some stomach grinds to warm up our core. So take your hands onto your knees gentle grip here. I'm going to start by coming off to your left with a long spine, so stretching through your right side, and then slowly with that long spine, make your way forward, reaching the crown of your head toward the front, and then off to your right, stretching through your left side. So keep your spine long, and then as you come back, you're going to actually round your spine, grip on your knees here, so you're stretching through your upper back. All right, now let's just pick up the pace here. So long spine to the side and forward and rounded spine to the back. Three more. Go just a little bit faster, a little bit faster, and then come all the way forward, pause, and then slowly switch sides. So stretch here first, round your spine as you come back. Stretch to the side with a straight spine, come forward. And then again, start picking up the pace a little bit. Round as you come back, stretch long as you come forward. And a couple more, picking up the pace even a little bit more. Come all the way forward and come up with a long spine. Make your way to a tabletop position. Continuing to warm up our spines, we're gonna do some cats and some cows. So find a neutral spine first, gazing down at the floor. Breathe in, drop your belly down. Arch your spine as you breathe out, round your spine. <clears throat> Reach up, separate your shoulder blades at your own pace. Inhale, cow pose. With your exhale, round cat pose. Again. Last round, one of each. Inhale, cow. 
exhale cat <clears throat> make your way back to a neutral tabletop position let's take thread the needle to stretch our shoulder take your for thread the needle take your right hand right underneath your face lift your left arm up pick up at your fingertips stretch and then slide your left arm behind your right come onto your left shoulder and your left ear full breath in full breath out unwind big breath in and release switch sides lift your right arm up peek up at your fingertips and then take your right arm behind your left right shoulder right ear to your mat full breath in and full breath out reach your right arm up and release your right hand down onto your mat I'm going to take a stretch for your inner thighs so go ahead and take your right leg off to the right place your right heel behind your right toes tuck your left toes under stretch your left hip back towards your heel walk your hands forward as if you were doing a child's pose feel the stretch in your right inner thigh and your shoulders of course come all the way back up let's take that on the other side send your left leg to the left place your heel directly behind your toes. So you're gonna feel a stretch in your ankle. Right toes tuck under, hip to heel. Walk your hands forward like you're doing a child's pose. Big breath in and out. And release, come back to tabletop position. For a modified side plank, take your right um, shin to the right Keep your right hand on the floor, stretch your left leg back and lift your left arm up. So you're facing the side of your mat now. Reach your left arm forward and now reach your left leg up off your mat. Breathe in, breathe out, elbow to knee. Breathe in, extend, breathe out, elbow to knee. Last time, breathe in, extend, elbow to knee. Reach long and return to tabletop. And let's do that on the other side. So bring your left shin to the left, right leg to the back of your mat. Reach your right arm up, modified side plank. Now reach your right arm forward and your right leg is gonna come up off your mat. Breathe in, breathe out, elbow to knee. Again. Last time. Okay, now stretch long and return to tabletop. Let's take heart melting pose. Tuck your, um, sorry, keep your hips right over your knees. You might want to scoop back on your mat a little bit. Walk your hands forward into the outer corners of your mat. Release your chest and your chin down to the floor, but keep your hips high. Complete your exhale here. And walk your hands back up so that you're there underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up, release your heels down. Ah, pedal out your feet. I'm a little bit tight and stiff, so this feels really good just to find a little movement here in your first down dog. And that can look whatever you need, to, like whatever you need today, pedaling your feet, you can find stillness if you want. You can reach your heels high you can shift off to one side and the other. Bend both knees at the same time, pressing your chest back. Whatever feels good. Wiggle out your head. Take one more breath in, downward in this first downward facing dog. Take a little bend to your knees if it, there's not one already. Walk your hands back towards your feet. So you're coming to the back of your mat with bent legs. Eventually your torso comes to rest on your thighs and your arms either rest on the floor or you can dangle them and ragdoll taking opposite hand to opposite elbow. One more time, find any movement in your ragdoll that you'd like, whatever feels good. And if that's stillness for you today, just hang. Sometimes that feels really nice just to 
Let your head release down toward your mat. Just dangling. One more breath here in Ragdoll. If your hands are clasped to your elbows, release them down to your mat and walk your hands back forward all the way past down dog to high plank pose. Modification for high plank pose is knees onto your mat. Try to find a neutral spine. So one long line from the crown of your head back towards your heels. Take another breath in. As you breathe out, lower down onto your mat, elbows grazing the ribs as you come. Breathe in, low lift cobra, stretch up, use the strength in your back to lift you. Breathe out, release, two more times. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, <clears throat> release down. Tuck your toes under, either on your knees or straight to high plank. You can lift your knees up off the mat. Press up and back, downward facing dog. Right away, lift your right leg up so you can stretch your hip, open your hip, bend your leg, let your foot hang heavy down toward the floor. Level your shoulders, so bring that right shoulder back in line with your left. Maybe straighten your right leg just for an instant and release down the dog. Switch sides. Lift your left leg up so you can stretch your hip on your left side. Open your hip, bend your leg, let your foot hang heavy. Now level your shoulders. Bring left shoulder back in line with right. Maybe straighten your left leg just for an instant and release, downward facing dog. Look toward your hands. This time you're gonna travel to the front of your mat. Step, float, walk, whatever feels good. We're still warming up. And then let's release into a forward fold. So this time you can begin to straighten your legs a little bit more. Maybe hold on to the backs of your heels. Just feel the stretch along the back side of your legs, your hamstrings and your calves. And release, roll up to standing. Really, really slow. Stacking one vertebra at a time. Arrive in mountain pose, feet either together or at hip width distance apart, whatever feels more comfortable for your low back and your legs. On your next breath in, lift your arms up. You can peek up at your fingertips if that feels good, or you can keep your gaze neutral. You're gonna side bend to the right. It's called side moon pose, reaching your right fingertips down toward the floor, maybe peeking your gaze up toward the ceiling, as long as that feels okay in the neck. Come back to center. Switch side, left arm coming down left leg, and again, gaze is neutral or up toward the ceiling. Come back to center. Cactus your arms, draw your elbows down and back. Lift your chest, lift your chin. Reach up and forward fold. On your next breath in, monkey. Lengthen your spine. And then as you exhale, you're gonna lift your heels and come into a little squat. Ball of yarn pose. Hold here, lifting your hips high, getting a, or your heels high, getting a stretch in the back, the bottoms of your feet. Option to maybe lift your hands up off your mat. Test your balance. Okay, release your hands down towards your mat. Now, keep your heels high up off your mat as you come into a modified forward fold. So forward fold with high heels, and then release your heels down to your mat. Let's flow that short series, breath to movement. Reach up, inhale to tall mountain, exhale side moon to your right, tall mountain, side moon to your left. Breathe in, reach up, cactus your arms. Reach up, forward fold, halfway lift. 
ball of yarn, lift your heels, squat down, keep your heels high, breathe in, forward fold with heels lifted, exhale, heels to the earth. One more time, breath to movement, breathe in, tall mountain, breathe out, side moon. Inhale, tall mountain, exhale, side moon to the left. Inhale, tall mountain, exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, tall mountain, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, monkey, exhale, ball of yarn. Okay, remember, keep your heels lifted. Inhale, forward fold with heels lifted. Exhale, release heels to your mat. Inhale, tall mountain. And then exhale right back to forward fold. Come down with a long spine. Release your hands to the earth. Halfway lift. And exhale back to forward fold. Plant your hands on your mat. Step back, high plank pose. Pause here. We're just gonna step right foot to the right and to center. Left foot to the left, to center. Two more times, both sides. Left, last time, right, left. Come back to high plank, lower chaturanga. If it's in your practice, come halfway down. Inhale to upward facing dog. Keep your neck nice and long. Don't throw your head back. Downward facing dog. Next breath in, lift your right leg up. Round your spine, bring your knee to your nose. Right leg high, big breath in, stretch it back. Right foot between your hands for low lunge pose. Get your knee right over your right ankle and then stretch your right leg long. Forward fold over your right leg. Come to a halfway lift position. So lengthen your spine, fingertips hover on the floor and then back to low lunge pose. Keep your left hand on your mat as you reach your right arm up for twisting lunge, and then exhale right back to low lunge. Come into a three-legged dog. So reach your right leg high up and back. Try to do it without scraping it on your mat. Release, downward facing dog. Switch sides, left leg lifts up. Bring left knee to your nose, round your spine, shoulders over your wrists, left leg high, and foot between your hands. Straighten through your left leg. Forward fold over your left leg, so bringing your forehead toward your shin. It's okay if it doesn't make contact. Breathe in, lengthen your spine like you're doing a halfway lift. Maybe fingertips come to hover over your mat. And then back to low lunge. Place your right hand on your mat. Lift your left arm up for twisting lunge. It's just a breath in and breath out to low lunge. Stretch your left leg high up and back. Release, downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift your right leg up behind you. Step your foot between your hands. Come into a low lunge position. The best of your ability, try to do it without dragging it. It takes practice, so it takes time. You're gonna step onto your right foot, come into standing splits pose. Try to keep your hips level Hands on the floor to support you in your balance. And then you're gonna lift your right heel up. Hold it. As you release your right heel to the floor, bring your left foot to meet your right. So you come into forward fold position. On your next breath in, come up to monkey pose. And exhale, chaturanga. So you can step or float back through plank and lower halfway down. Inhale, press up, up dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Right to the other side, <clears throat> lift your left leg up. Step your left foot between your hands. You're gonna round your spine, bring your knee to your nose to help you avoid dragging your foot. You're gonna step onto your left foot, standing splits pose, so get a little pop off that back leg. Forward fold over your left leg. Try to keep your hips level. And then come up onto your tippy toes on your left foot. So balancing and standing splits 
working that calf, stretching the bottom of your left foot. And then as your heel releases to the floor, bring your right foot to meet your left. Forward fold. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, step or float, chaturanga. Press up, upward facing dog. Press back to downward facing dog. Take another breath here and down dog. Steady and slow in and out through your nose. Okay, lift your right leg high, step through to low lunge. Come right back into that standing splits once again. So pop off your left foot, lift your right leg up and then forward fold over your right leg. Just do one little heel lift. And then at this time as your heel releases, you're gonna step lightly back into low lunge position. As soon as your left foot lands on the floor, can you lift your arms up into crescent lunge? Lower your shoulders away from your ears. Take a breath in here. And then as you breathe out, hinge forward, reach back. Airplane lunge position. As you breathe in, you're just gonna open up to warrior two. So your left arm is gonna lead the way up and around, plant your heel, lower your shoulders, sink into your warrior two. Breathe in, straighten your right leg, lift your arms up, connect the palms of your hands above your head. And then as you breathe out, you're gonna look out across your front fingertips as you come back into your warrior two position. Reach back, reverse warrior, hands to the earth, low lunge. Option is you go through chaturanga, to keep your right foot lifted up off the floor, lower down, maybe pop off that left foot onto the top of your foot as you come into up dog. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and out through your nose. Let's do that on the other side. So lift your left leg up, <clears throat> low lunge. Once again, coming into standing splits. So Put your weight into your left foot, lift your right leg up, and then forward fold over your left leg. Lift your left heel really high up off your mat. As your left heel comes down, your right foot gently lands, low lunge, lift your arms up off the floor, crescent, inhale, and exhale. Take another big breath in. As you hinge forward, reach your arms back, airplane lunge, and then right arm leads the way, warrior two. Just circle it around, plant your back heel on the floor, sink into it, gaze to the front. Inhale, straighten your leg, lift your arms up, connect the palms of your hands. As you breathe out, take your gaze forward again. Reverse warrior, tip back, stretch back, low lunge, plant your hands. <clears throat> Step back, high plank, lower chaturanga. You can keep your left foot lifted if you want for ekapada. Up dog, down dog. Take a breath in, take a breath out. All right, let's add on to this sequence as we're getting nice and warm, connecting breath to movement. Go at your own pace, the pace of your breath. Lift your right leg up. Low lunge, step through. As Soon as you complete the movement, move on to the next one. Standing splits, forward fold. Lift your heel high, balancing in standing splits. Exhale, low lunge, step back. Crescent lunge, breathe in. Airplane lunge, breathe out. Warrior two, left arm circles up and around. Plant that foot on the floor, the left heel. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse warrior, inhale. Moving to side angle, exhale. Five-pointed star, breathe in, toes out. Palms face out, arms reach up. And squat. <laughs> Take your thumbs to your heart, sink into your hips. Next breath in, reach up. 
Exhale, warrior two, face the front of your mat. Reverse warrior, hands to the earth, and then take your right foot back to side plank. I'm going to give you two options. You can just do that, or you can hold on to your right foot and take it with you. Modified side plank, lifting your right leg up. Again, you can have it resting on your left leg. One more breath in. Breathe out. Maybe Ekapada Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Big breath in. And out. Left leg lifts. Low lunge. Standing splits. Forward fold over your left leg. Left heel lifts, high, 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 low lunge, graceful, graceful, slow. Crescent lunge, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Straighten your leg, connect the palms of your hands, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Big breath out. Five point and star, rise up. Prayer squat, sink down, hands to your heart. Big circle of your arms, inhale, rise up. Exhale, sink down. Last time, rise up. And exhale, warrior two. Face the front of your mat. Stretch back, reverse warrior. Adding on with side angle pose. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Breathe out, low lunge. So side plank. Take it however you want. If you want to, you can clasp your left toes. Stretch back, lift your leg up. Or you can just step it back, lift your left leg up. Your choice. Take another breath in. Maybe a kapata chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a big breath here, in through your nose, out through your nose. <clears throat> We're gonna do this flow one more time, adding on a little bit more, and then we'll take a little break. Lift your right leg up, low lunge. Standing splits, forward fold. Lift your right, leg, right heel up. Low lunge, land lightly. Crescent lunge right away when that foot hits the floor. Warrior two. Straighten your leg, connect the palms of your hands. Warrior two. Five pointed star. Prayer squat. Five pointed star. Okay, now changing it up here, heels behind your toes. Come all the way down. Right away, come into a halfway lift position. Nice flat back, hands to the floor. Keep your right hand on the floor. Keep your hips level, and then twist, reaching your left arm up. Just a breath in here, and release. Keep your hips level. Twist from the base of your spine. Lift your right arm up, and release. Walk your hands three steps forward. And then press back, wide-legged down dogs. Your heels reach toward the floor. Open your chest. Nice stretch for your shoulders. Walk it back. Rise up, five-pointed star. Warrior two. <clears throat> Reverse warrior. This time, instead of side angle pose, Balance onto your right foot, come into half moon pose. You can kind of float as you make your way there. Hold for another breath. Your release from half moon pose is gonna to be to a low lunge in preparation for the side plank. So low lunge, step back. And again, if you'd like to hold on to your right toes, take them on the way, lift up side plank. 
whatever variation you want. And then chaturanga, up dog, and downward facing dog. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out. Left leg lifts up off the ground for three-legged dog. Step through low lunge. So land that foot and then step onto it, standing splits. Fold over your left leg. Lift your left heel high, high, high. And then step lightly back, low lunge. As soon as that right foot hits the floor, lift your arms up, crescent lunge. Warrior two. Straighten your leg, connect the palms of your hands, and return warrior two. Five-pointed star. Prayer squat, sink down. Right back to five-pointed star. Warrior two. Reverse warrior, prepare yourself for balancing in half moon pose. Step onto your left foot. Float your right foot, maybe pause in your little float, and come into the pose. Take another breath in. You're gonna step back to low lunge. You're gonna hold on to your left toes, toe with your left fingers. Side plank. Just for a breath in. Chaturanga, breath out. Upward dog, downward facing dog. Look toward your hands, take a bend toward your knees, press back, and then float through to a seat, or you can walk and sit. Let's make our way down onto our back. Just extend your legs long. Rest your arms alongside your body. Close your eyes for three breaths. All right, bring your left leg toward the center of your mat. Toes are gonna to point up toward, your, toward the ceiling. And then hug your right knee into your chest. Now for wind removing pose, you're gonna take your right knee toward your right shoulder and then draw it up and in. Elbows come in. And release your knee back towards center and reach your right toes up toward the ceiling. Okay, we're just gonna do a little bit of core work here. So you have the option of keeping your left foot off on the floor or lifting it off, and we're just gonna pulse. So you're gonna reach your hands forward toward your left toes and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep holding up, switch your legs, right foot to the floor or hovering, and again, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Place your right foot on the floor if it's not already. Lower your shoulders down onto your mat. Bring your heel toward your hip. Hands around your knee. Now, bring your knee to the left, up toward your shoulder. Squeeze up and in, elbows in and down toward your mat. Hold here. Relax the grip on your knee. Bring both knees into your chest. And then just take one roll and come into boat pose. So come all the way up. They're holding on to your knees or extending your arms straight. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, lower to hover, low boat, 
high boat, low, high, last time. Take a gentle grip on your knees, roll back. Option to jump back, chaturanga, or just meet and down dog. Take three breaths in downward facing dog, in and out through your nose. Okay, so we're gonna continue to work a little bit with the flow that we've already done, but we're gonna add on a lot more balancing postures. So listen to the change in the cues. All right, lift your right leg up and step through to low lunge. Back to standing splits again. Fold over your right leg, lift your right heel up, and then step back into a low lunge. Reach up crescent lunge. Now you're gonna come this time into airplane. So step forward, reach back, take a breath in, take a breath out. Left leg comes up and through. Okay, now we just did this on the floor. We're gonna do it now in our standing balancing posture. Hold on to your left knee with your hands. Now, take your left knee to the left, up toward your shoulder. Squeeze in tight, elbows down. One more breath here. All right, now take your knee back to center. Option here for forehead to knee pose. So forehead to knee is not in your practice. You can hold here in staff with your hands down or up, leg bent or straight, or you can take hold of your left foot, basket weave grip underneath your left foot, press your foot down so it's in line with your knee, and then straighten your leg. Breathe in, breathe out, forehead to knee. Come back through staff, lift your arms up. Now step back to airplane lunge. Reach your arms back, step lightly back. Inhale, warrior two, left arm leads away. Exhale, sink in. Reverse warrior, half moon pose again. Step onto your right foot, take a breath in. Grounded airplane, breathe out. Left hip lowers down, left hands to the floor. Keep your left hand where it is. Inhale your right leg, or sorry, your right arm high. Revolved, half moon. Now, try this out. Reverse dancer, bend your left leg. Take hold of it with your right hand. Look down at the floor, little bend to your right leg. Lift your left arm up. Now kick your left foot into your right hand. All right, and from here, transition into airplane. Reach your arms back. Warrior three, reach your arms forward. Standing splits, maybe this time, hands off the floor, wrap them around your right leg. You got it, now step back, low lunge. Right back this time to high plank, low plank, up dog, down dog. Take three breaths in downward facing dog. That was a challenging balancing series, so calm yourself here. Refocus your breath, refocus your energy and just be right here, right now, in this moment. Exhale out all of your air. Lift your left leg up. Low lunge, step between your hands. Standing splits. Fold over your left foot. Lift your left heel up. Step back, low lunge. Crescent, inhale, airplane pose, step forward, reach back. You're gonna keep your right foot off the floor. Bring it through. When you find your knee, 
Take hold of it with both hands. Bring your knee to the right, up to your shoulder, elbows in and down. One more breath. Now remember you have the option for staff pose here. So you're gonna bring your right knee back to center, heel under knee, knee in line with hip, hold here, hands down, hands up, legs straight, or you can take forehead to knee pose. Round down, take hold of your right foot, basket weave grip, press your foot down, extend your leg long, breathe in, forehead to knee, breathe out. Come back to staff, releasing back through staff. Come back to airplane, extend your right leg long, Gauge through your triceps. Inhale, warrior three, stretch your arms forward. Exhale, step back, airplane lunge. Bend your left leg, land your right foot. Inhale, right arm leads the way, warrior two. Exhale here. Reverse warrior, preparing yourself for half moon pose once again on your left side. Okay, from half moon pose, come into grounded airplane. So right hip meets left, right hand comes to the floor, leg extends straight out behind you. Steady yourself, revolved half moon. So keep your right hand on the floor, lift your left arm up. And then from here, land lightly into your low lunge. High plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Take another full breath here. All right, last time through our standing flow series, again, adding on a couple things, changing up a couple things, and then we'll come down to our mats to stretch. Lift your right leg up, make your way to low lunge. Standing splits, fold of your right leg. Lift your right heel high, low lunge to crescent. Come into airplane. And this time come into standing staff. Left leg comes forward, reach your arms up. And then make your way to tree pose. Hold tree for five breaths. Any arm variation is welcome. Last full breath here. Now simply Take your left foot right over your right knee. Not a big move here. Sink down, standing pigeon pose. See if you can bring your elbows to connect with your knee and your foot, and you're just gonna kinda tap so you get real low and come all the way back up. Stretch back or step back, airplane lunge. Crescent lunge, warrior two, reverse warrior, right to a low lunge, high plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left leg lifts, low lunge, standing splits, Forward fold of your left leg. Left heel lifts, low lunge, crescent lunge, airplane pose. Okay, we're coming through to staff this time. Staff pose, tree pose for five breaths.
last breath. Bring your right foot, slide it up and over your left knee. Sink down, standing pigeon. We're just gonna lower all as far as we can. Maybe so far that you can tap your elbow to your knee and your other elbow to your foot. Come all the way back up to staff, to airplane lunge. Warrior two, reverse warrior, low lunge, high plank, low plank, upward dog, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up, bring your right foot to the outside of your left hand. I'm going to fall in triangle first. Lower your left heel down toward the floor. Lift your left arm up. Maybe look up toward your fingertips. You're going to release your left hand back down toward your mat. And kind of a new transition or a different transition here. Bring your right knee, slide it over to come into half pigeon pose. Reach up. Open the front side of your body. Lower down. Come all the way back up onto your hands. You can stay in your sleeping pigeon if you'd like. Otherwise, we're gonna take a quadricep stretch here. So bend your left leg, take hold of your left foot, draw your heel in, and release. Stretch back, three-legged dog. If you want to flip, reach up and back and release down dog. Other side, left leg high. Bring your left foot to the outside of your right hand. Lower your right heel down toward your mat. Lift your right arm up. Look up. Release and then slide your left knee across toward your left wrist. Half pigeon. Stretch up. Lower down. Stay in your sleeping pigeon or for the quadriceps stretch, press up onto your hands, bend your right leg, take hold of your right foot Draw your right heel in. And gently release your foot down. Three-legged dog option for wild thing if you'd like. Open your hip, bend your leg. Place your foot on the floor. Jump them back. Downward facing dog is your release. And then make your way to a seated position. We're gonna take butterfly pose to stretch your hips. Bring the soles of your feet together. Hands around your ankles, sit up tall. Hinge forward, elbows press toward knees. Crown of your head reaches forward. All the way back up. Place your feet on the floor. Lower down onto your back. Draw your heels in. Place the palms of your hands flat. Lift your hips up for bridge. Soft gaze over your belly. Watch your belly rise and fall as you hold here and breathe deeply. Mm -hmm. 
Lower your hips down onto your mat. And lift your feet up off your mat for happy baby pose, holding on to thighs, calves, toes, whatever is accessible to you. Give yourself a little massage by rocking side to side. Hug your knees into your chest. And then place your feet on the floor at about mat distance apart. And take your arms into a goal post position. Toes slightly point out and just windshield wiper your legs. Right, left. This is another little massage for your low back. A stretch for your hips. One more time to each side, to the right, to the left. Come back to center. Loose grip on your knees as you lift your heels up or your feet up off the floor and then just lower your knees to the right for a spinal twist. You can place your right hand on your left knee and then just gaze to the left. Close your eyes for three breaths. sides come through center knees to the left gaze to the right for three breaths through center, one last little squeeze, and Shavasana. Take up space, palms face up, feet fall open. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Return to the natural rhythm of your breath. Stay in your Shavasana as long as you have time for. Thank you so much for coming to your mat and committing to your yoga practice. Today as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, peace in your heart. From my heart to yours, namaste.